and publication research and publications are important tools the most important tools through which you can bring changes to the world research and publications should enable you to introduce a better future well every we are all human being as an academician you obviously want very high h index as an academician you want very high citations as an academician you want to create very high impact factor you want to publish in high impact factor journals i understand all these things but my question is fundamental my question is through your research and publication you have to bring something better to this world now you have to think about that you use your power of pen to bring prosperity to this world use your power of pen to bring greater happiness use your power of pen to help this world so my challenge to you is that you reverse the thinking the earlier thinking was your goal was somehow get a paper published by hook or crook even by paying money you wanted your papers to be published i want this to change i want you to change this approach instead of having the goal of publishing the paper by hook or by crook you should have the goal of transforming the world with the help of your pen now how you will use your pen that is an important issue for which i have been requesting to you that use your pen to bring greater happiness use your pen to bring about better world somehow or other try to use your pen to bring greater happiness to this world a large number of research projects can be under funded can be obtained can be funded because the governments are funding if you pick up a research topic which is such on which the government is willing to invest money so you can get funding you can get funding if you pick up something really important you can get funding from government you can fund get funding from csr bodies you can pick up a research on a funded project research on funded project will give you greater happiness your biodata will be enriched because you are working on a funded project large number of industries large number of organizations today want researchers to undertake research on certain specific topics they want you to undertake research on certain specific topics so why don't you undertake research on those topics search on the uh, you can search on the government's dst website other government website websites of csr organizations you prepare research on those topics on which they are giving funding because they want people to undertake research on those important issues you undertake research on those topics and share your insights with the world another important thing that you should do is that you should participate in conferences on the themes on which you want to work if you really want to work on the theme of poverty removal removal then you start and taking research in the field of you should start participating in conferences and you should start presenting your thoughts in those conferences there are three advantages you learn from other speakers who come there to share their ideas you are able to get feedback on your article from others and you can modify your article and third the conferences generally forward your papers for publication the conferences might have a tie up with some journal so your paper is published you save your time your journal is published first in the conference proceeding where it is in the form of a summary of article and later on the conference might forward your paper with their recommendation to a journal and the journal will publish it and therefore your time is saved because you get three advantages simultaneously therefore this is the best route for you right 
Moreover, I did not mention there are many other indirect advantages. You get an opportunity to do networking with other teachers, other scholars in the conferences. Because when you participate in a conference, you are able to create large number of friends. So conferences help you in creating powerful network. Conferences also help you to give academic exposure. You come to know what other people are doing, how they are doing. Conferences enable you to learn from your peers. When you interact with others, you come to know oh, what these people are doing. I can also do it. So taking inspiration from them, you can also start doing a lot of things. So it is participation in conferences is very helpful. All of you should do it. It will help you tremendously. And uh, due to Corona times these days, there are many conferences which are not having any participation charges free of cost. You can join those conferences online so you can save your time. You can save your travel time. You can save your conference participation fees. So many advantages are there. So take full advantages of these things. There are many websites like conference alerts where you can log in and create your alerts so that whenever any conference takes place on the theme on which you are working, you get an alert. You register for the conferences well in time, send your paper well in time, get the paper reviewed by them and uh, prepare yourself for those conferences and definitely participate in all the conferences that you get to the opportunity. So always participate in the conferences and uh, develop academic network because academic networks will help you in getting more and more opportunities. Sometimes you may not know about conferences, but if you are part of some academic network, somebody else will share with you the information that, look, this is a conference. You should participate. So you get another opportunity to speak. You should go there, participate, speak. So your academic network will help you. Always establish academic network. Leave your ego. People, uh, you know, if uh, you want to develop in your life, you want to grow, leave your ego. We have created so much of ego around ourselves. We do not want to have any networking with others. If somebody calls us, we are very, you know, rough. If somebody requests us, we just say hi, hello, formal talks, nothing else. Rather than that, create academic networks, leave your ego, interact with everybody else. Everyone, every academician whom you interact should become a part of your academic network. Use your social media for creating academic network. That will help you. That will help you in develop your, in yourself. And that will help you in achieving the goal that you want to achieve. Remember, use your pen for achieving a bigger goal. The ultimate goal should be development of mankind. The ultimate goal should be a better life. The ultimate goal should be sharing happiness for everybody. The, the ultimate goal should be to create a better life for everybody which will be possible only through better academic networking.